is from last night's Oscars and cheers to Coors. They want to help you adopt a dog. 12 at 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Tram here. In today's talker, should your opinions on social media affect whether or not you get a job? A new study from Penn State University shows frequent strong opinions on your social media are holding you back on the job hunt. Also very important, the study shows people aren't getting hired if they come across as self-absorbed. So what do you think about this? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. The results just minutes away. Hashtag most clicked. Here are the stories piquing everyone's interest right now. Number one, the community is really stepping up to help a South Mountain Little League team after someone broke into their facility over the weekend and stole all their stuff. Volunteers from the league started a GoFundMe page to help raise money to replace what was taken. And boy, did people step up. The league not only hit its $5,000 goal, but raised an extra five grand, bringing the total to $11,000 in just a couple of hours. Coming in at number two, a Valley family discovered more than a thousand paintings inside their grandfather's studio that he never showed anyone. 89-year-old Len Johansson passed away in December, and now his granddaughter is hoping to get his colorful canvases into a gallery. She set up a website and an Instagram account for her grandpa's art. We've got links to both of those on our website. Just beautiful. Well, number three, we now know the name of the student killed in a deadly crash last week. That accident happened Friday afternoon in Gilbert near the intersection of Wrecker and Pecos Road, just a few blocks away from Higley High School. 17-year-old Stephen Knight, who goes by Luke, and three other teenagers were involved in that crash. Investigators are reconstructing the crash to help figure out the cause. Community members created a memorial for Luke at the crash site. Well, now to saving you money, good news at the pump, gas prices are falling. The average price dropped seven cents in the past two weeks. The new national average is now $2.53. Industry analysts say the drop is because of falling crude oil costs and the price at the pump may even continue fall to fall more since supply is greater than demand. Well, are you paying someone to do your taxes when you could do it for free? Yeah, it turns out most of you are. Only 2.4% of eligible tax filers are using the free file system, according to a new report from the Treasury Department. So if you make less than $69,000, then you can file your taxes online for free at irs.gov. There, you'll find free tax software from a variety of brand name firms. Checking your pulse on health now. Is high school really the best time of your kid's life? Maybe not. A new study from Yale Child Study Center shows a, a lot of students are suffering from boredom, anger, sadness, even fear, especially when it comes to school. Researchers say the way students feel about time in the classroom can affect their academic performance. The study also shows some of these feelings could be tied to teens just being overly tired. Well, if you're looking to live longer, make sure you keep in touch with your friends. Scientists at the University of Texas found seniors who maintain active social lives not only live longer, but also have better physical and mental health. Researchers say it can be tough to get people out of the house, but they encourage seniors to try and incorporate more social time into their routines. Well, how good of a night's sleep are you really getting these days? If it's bad, you could blame it on your partner. Researchers say a lot of people just want their partners to stop snoring at night. Snoring, of course, is pretty common, but if you are sawing logs, then you could be suffering from something more severe like sleep apnea. Sleep experts encourage snorers to try changing positions in bed, avoid alcohol before sleeping, and talk to your doctor if your snoring seems a little out of control. Well, even though we had a gorgeous weekend, we could be in for some rain now. Here's Crystal with your forecast 411. Happy National Umbrella Day. We're right on theme as we'll likely be putting those umbrellas up a little later on today. Since it's been 20 days without measurable rain at Phoenix Sky Harbor, I thought you could use a little refresher course of what this thing is used for. You hide under it when the wet stuff falls from the sky. <laughs> and definitely don't use it during thunderstorms, windy weather, 
or open it indoors. That's just bad luck, but definitely have it on hand for the next 48 hours. Hour by hour, you could see after the noon hour, our chances increase for not only rain, but to hear some claps of thunder and see some lightning in our sky. And where we get some of those heavy duty showers and thunderstorms erupt, that's where we could see some of the highest rainfall totals, which may even approach a half of an inch by the time we're all said and done in some valley neighborhoods. Double bonus points for Jennifer, our 12 News weather watcher. She captured the weekend's super moon, snow moon, along with snow pasted on the peaks there. We could see up to a foot of snow above 7,500 feet in the White Mountains with anywhere from a few inches possible in Flagstaff and Prescott. In that seven day forecast, we'll be milder just in time for Valentine's Day with maybe more chances for rain next weekend. Oh, and I just got my car wash. Well, now for other news that will have a lot of people talking. NASA is officially on its way to the sun. The solar orbiter blasted off late last night. It'll give us pictures closer to the sun than anyone has ever seen before and also gather info to keep astronauts safe on upcoming missions to the moon. To Australia now, where it seems they just can't catch a break. After a summer of drought and wildfires, Australia's east coast is now dealing with strong winds, rain, and major flooding. Now check this out. The conditions are so extreme that it's actually creating reverse waterfalls in Sydney right there. Wow. That's where winds are so strong that they whip water up over the cliffs. Emergency crews warn locals to stay out of the water, but not everyone is listening. A few surfers were seen braving the storm swell to catch some waves. Well, the Apple Watch is no longer just a major player in smartwatches. Apple Watch outsold the entire Swiss watch industry. Apple shipped out nearly 31 million watches last year, while Swiss watch only shipped about 21 mil. Researchers say it's because younger buyers are more interested in wearable technology. Well, now for your daily cup of juice. The red carpet was rolled out and Hollywood's brightest stars showed up for last night's 92nd Academy Awards. Here's what's buzzing when it comes to some of the best and worst looks. Take a look. Natalie Portman stunned in black and gold. And while the look is gorgeous, Portman also used it to make a feminist statement. On her cape were the names of female directors who she felt were snubbed by the Academy. Well, look at this one, Janelle Monae's gown. Wow. She brought the glitz and glam in a dress with nearly 170,000 crystals. The dress was so heavy that the Harriet actress needed a team of four people to help deliver her gown to the dressing room. Hmm. Well, meantime, there are always the celebs who miss the mark, like Gal Gadot. Some people on the internet are saying Gadot's fluffy pink skirt and black lace bodice look like someone stitched two dresses together. Okay, but she is still so stunning. I mean, seriously, she could wear anything. Well, last night, Hollywood also honored the people who passed away last year, but there were a few names notably missing from the list. Luke Perry, Cameron's Boyce, or excuse me, Cameron Boyce and Sid Haig were not included in the annual tribute. Luke Perry, who's from Ohio, died last March after suffering a stroke. He was 52. His omission from the moment came as a disappointment to fans who were quick to point out on social media that Perry was featured in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which was one of this year's Best Picture nominees. Well, Coors Light wants to help you find a furry drinking buddy this Valentine's Day. The beer will pay some of your adoption fees if you're thinking about getting a dog. It'll give $100 to the first 1,000 dogs adopted now through February 21st, so get on it. But there are some rules, like anyone of legal, legal drinking age in eligible states can get some of the fees covered. In order to receive the money, participants can text CORS 4K9 and a picture of the adoption receipt. Well, time now for A to Z 60, where we celebrate the people, places, and things that make the Valley so awesome in just 60 seconds. Finding a safe and inexpensive place for kids after school while parents are still at work, of course, can be challenging. It's a problem a few Valley skateboarders noticed and decided to do something about it. Jamie checked it out. What started out as a small community project has grown into a huge after school program, giving kids a safe place to play. So Tim, how did all of this come about? 
Well, originally about seven or eight years ago, we started collecting boards from our friends and other skaters in the community to try to uh, find places to donate old equipment to and um, kind of give it a new life. Through a lot of uh, interaction and, and kind of a longer process, we've been able to develop it into an actually fully functioning after school program. So what does your kid need to bring? Our kids don't need anything, they just need permission from home. We have a waiver and a permission slip that gets sent home to kids who are interested. We have skateboards, wrist guards, helmets, um, knee pads, everything else that the kids are gonna need to participate in the program is all provided for them. And don't worry about the cost. No cost to the, no cost to the kids at all. We're a nonprofit, we're funded by donors and grants. And that's... Oh, that's great. Well, let's get back to today's talker. Should your opinions on social media affect whether or not you get a job? Well, it turns out 65% of you say yes, and 35% of you say no. Keep voting on 12news.com slash bullhorn, and those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, comment down below. It's time now for the look ahead, the stories you'll be talking about a little later on today. How do you feel about dating in the workplace? A lot of people do it. Coming up on First at Four, we're talking about the do's and don'ts when it comes to romance in the office. And that's your 12 at 12, the facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes. No commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app, and our socials as well. Keep those umbrellas handy. We'll see you back here again soon. Hollywood glitz and glamour for a fraction of the cost. Destry has the details coming up on Arizona Midday. Coming up on Arizona Midday, we are recreating Oscar looks. This is a sneak peek. You're going to want to stay tuned. We nailed it. And it's all from local dress shops.